<laughs> Hi, we're back with another knickknack with Mac, and today we are making Valentine's heart decor. Here's an example of one I've already made. You can give it to someone you love, a family member, or keep it for yourself. Or maybe someone you have a crush on. So here are the tools you'll need. You'll need art resin, cups to mix it in, gloves to protect your hands, a stir stick, and a silicone mold. And we have chosen hearts because it's a Valentine's Day craft. <laughs> so now it's time to pour and mix the art resin. First I'm going to put on my gloves because I don't want to get art resin all over my hands. Why not? Because the art resin is very, very sticky. So now I'm going to take two cups and mix equal amounts of resin and hardener into each cup. Looks good. Now we're going to mix the resin and hardener together and stir for three minutes. Make sure you get it all out. So who are you making this for? I'm probably gonna make it for my mom because she's my valentine. <laughs> stirring, stirring, stirring. It was a lot of hard work. Is that it? Yeah. So now that we're done stirring, as you probably know, our resin is the clearest resin you can get. But in honor of Valentine's Day, we're going to add a little tint of red into our resin. So now we are going to fill the silicone mold with our resin, but we're only going to fill it halfway because we need to allow the bubbles to escape. Alright, let's pour it in. Now that we've poured the art resin, ask an adult for help to torch out the bubbles. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. Thanks, Mother. Thanks, Valentine. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. <laughs> so now we have to wait 24 hours until we can pop it out of the mold. But I made these ones yesterday so I could show you how they look. Wow, they look great. You don't just have to use small hearts with red tint, you can use a bigger mold or different color of resin tint. So at the beginning I showed you one version of the Valentine's heart decor, but now I think I'm going to go for a more woodsy look. I found this tree branch when I was going for a walk, and now I'm going to glue all the twine on so the hearts can dangle off the twine. So now I'm going to glue the hearts onto the twine one piece at a time. I'm going to double up the hearts to hide the twine in between. Make sure to be creative, you can mix match the hearts as you would like. Now for a nice clean look, snip off the bottom. Now we're going to tie our hearts to the tree branch. I suggest a double knot. Here it is, your very own Valentine's heart decor. Happy Valentine's Day! <laughs>